video shows and community delta community where soldiers were killed now in flames as residents flee many residents of the Okwama in the really south local government area and Okuluba in the Bomadi local government area of Delta Seas on Friday fled the community as soldiers took over the area and reportedly said some houses ablaze in reaction to the killing of 16 soldiers including senior officers. Channel TV reported late on Saturday that 15 bodies of the soldiers were recovered by soldiers of the Joint Task Force under the supervision of the general officer commanding 6th Division Nigeria Army Major General Jama Abdul Salam at the Ukwama community. Some of the recovered corpses had their heads severed off, while the stomach of others were, hmm, can you imbios imagine? And uh, some of them, their vital organs missing. At the NDDC JT of the community, the bodies of the commander officer and two majors were seen floating by the river banks as others were separated on land. Meanwhile, the entire communities in the Bomadi and really South local government areas were condoned off by troops of the division, 6th Division, Nigeria Army, Otakot, who also oversees the 63 Brigade in Asaba. The neighboring communities have been engaged in the communal land dispute since January 27, 2024. Land disputes. When some youth from a Ukuluba were said to have ambushed and killed three Ukwama youth. Iho, Meshak, Gospawa, Awusa, and Okimute, Agba, Buleke, over an age-long land dispute in the area as they were returning from Ukwagbe. The corpses of the disease were said to have been hidden by the assailant. Some Ukwama youth on Wednesday reportedly ambushed one Mr. Anthony Abo, an indigenous of a Ukuluba and head in Mustage. The chairman of the Ukuluba community alerted the division police officer, Bomadi Police Division, the Joint Task Force, the Department of State Service, and the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. It was learned that the JTS swiftly swung into action and moved to Ukoma to rescue the hostage. However, the aggrieved youth of Ukoma on sighting the JTF personnel allegedly opened fire on them at the waterfront and killed two soldiers with some others missing. The situation degenerated to a gun duel between the youth and the military, leading to some soldiers sustaining severe bullet wounds. In the ensuing melee, some of the soldiers reportedly managed to escape with the two wounded soldiers who are said to be presently recuperating in an undisclosed hospital in Bomadi. The commanding officer of 3 Battalion F1 and commanding officer 181 Amphobius Battalion Agbo could not be reached for comments as of the time of filing this report. When contacted the police public relations officer in the state, DSP Bright Edafi stated the Delta State Police Command is not aware of the incidents. However, the Nigerian Army confirmed the killing of its officers and men, whom it noted were on a peace mission in the Ukoma community. In a statement by the Acting Director of Defense Information Brigadier General Tuko Gusau, the Army said the commanding officer of the 181 Amphobious Battalion, two majors, one captain, and 12 soldiers lost their lives. Okay. Hmm. So. In, in, in no share now, we know that hey, hey, it, it will be fire for fire now. Now we give it that to, for that to have happened. Ah, they will go back there. <laughs> and of course, the villagers or the communities, they are aware of such incident. That if it happen, eh, even if they don't come back the, that very day, they might just stay like one week, two weeks before they will go and come and clear people. From the area, so the way go get sense, they go just they go to Lele, they go to Lele, perish their land so that they can learn lesson. I wonder how some people will come to support nonsense. How can a so called God forsaking key 12 soldiers and a two major and captain in a peace mission? <laughs> it's not as if it was land disputes, 
uh, not that uh, me, I was even thinking that in our business, a uh, bunkery of a team, but it's more than that because I know some other parts of a uh, data state that uh, this issue of land uh, is a is a is terrible. You talk about a uh, what do they call am I and uh, they say um, we bu, we in that same data state, uh, the land uh, where they fight, they uh, don't pass, maybe they like, don't pass 1000 years or let's just say 500 years, they've been fighting, 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 fighting. I don't understand. No oil for inside that place. Nothing. So this particular place too, from what we are getting now is just still land disputes that is causing this a wow. Can you just imagine? Hmm. Any community that can successfully do this to men is a haven for murderers. All the surrounding villages should be searched to bring out the murderers. If the previous story is correct, definitely civilians, police, military and others had been taken down on different occasions. What are the disadvantages of dividing Nigeria into three? Northerners shall continue their acts of terrorism and religious practices, and the other will find their way. It will be very difficult for governments, and they never uh, treat northern towns like this following the killings of soldiers in the north by bandits and terrorists. What of all the military killed in the north? I still wait for them to raise Zamfara and Zazebi, where is President OBJ? Have we forgotten the incidents of Fuji and Zakibiam mm. Nigeria? Nigeria, and you see, we see there's no war, and they will tell you that insecurity, every security is improving on the daily basis. This is what we see. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and I'll take on this.